I have to have something in production or I'm not happy. I suppose my personal fear is ending up in an old people's home, joining in with community singing and getting on my Zimmer frame. I hope I've got a few years to go, that maybe with retirement my best work is yet to come. I've been producing films in Coventry for around, for around 30 years, I'd say. Sent to Coventry was um, a West Midlands Arts funded film. Um, the grant was 3000 in 1992 at the time. It wasn't broadcast because they thought it wasn't funny, which is a bit ironic, seeing as now everyone thinks it's hilarious. Schools. I went to this junior school and this senior school. The head here at the senior school was very strict about school uniform. We even had to wear white underpants and have them inspected regularly. We got the whack if they were blue. The head got shopped to the press about that. Slightly before it's time in, in the type of editing, maybe, the um, um, jump cut editing, uh, I was the key actor in it. Um, the idea was almost that it was postcards from home. Dawn Airy was the name for the woman that didn't think it was worth putting on, or didn't think it was funny. Uh, my training goes back to the early 70s when TVs had valves in them. Recently I've, I've gone into reading poetry and writing it, that's a recent thing. A lot of dialogue on my more successful projects has been slightly poetic. Lay on the volivants. Was the Ebram Bilks better than Blue Nun? Jan and John were beginning to make out behind the living room sofa as Anne tried to clear the room for them. So many yesterdays, so many todays. See you sliding down a wall near you sometime. I may be pissed, but I'm still sentient. Where is the loo? Is there anyone in the toilet? I don't think so, no. Okay, so, so this started about six months ago when I first heard about fire and dust. And my work in the, in the lyrics, not the lyrics, in the dialogue of been somewhat poetic. So I thought I'd have a go and I went along and had a go. And I got quite hooked on it and everyone at uh, Fire and Dust was really supportive. And um, I came to realise that there, there was a really diverse and interesting and, and lots of different styles within poetry in Coventry. So having been a filmmaker for 30 years, I thought it'd be a good topic for a, for a documentary. I think the main thing for me is I, I want to express my own skewed, fucked up perceptions of the world, whatever that might be worth. And it's the creativity bit, that I suppose, that inspires me and trying to get hold of that entity. So it's something I'm in control of, something I need to do that I'm obsessed by, but it also needs to take me in, in an, in a, into, a, into an area that is unpredictable.